check the mic and make sure it sound right, boy. What's going on, everyone? Welcome back to another video over here at Piece of the Puzzle. As you all know, we're in the final stages of summer. Uh, if I'm not mistaken, summer has about three weeks left, three to four weeks left. And so we're gonna be going into what I consider and what many people actually consider to be the pinnacle for fashion for all in style. And that would be fall season. The reason that fall season is considered to be the pinnacle is because you're able to start layering more and more pieces on top of one another. When it's hot outside, you gotta stick to your t-shirts, your tank tops. Maybe you can throw on a flannel or you know Cuban collar, things like that over to kind of add some more interest, but you can only do so much since the weather doesn't allow you to do as much as you want to. But with fall, the temperature starts to drop. We start to see those 60s, 50s, even 40s for some people. And so because of that, you're able to now start putting on t-shirts, flannels, jackets, scarves, things like that, depending on where you live. What I wanna do right now is just make a quick intro video to kind of start getting us prepared for fall and the fall uh, fashion lineups that's coming out. And so this video, as you can tell by the title, is gonna be just what I consider to be probably the most optimal choice for fall weather as far as tops go, and that's denim jackets. Now with a denim jacket, the reason why I think it's so optimal for fall, uh, as opposed to maybe like bombers or leather jackets and things like that, is because one, they're probably the most affordable out of all the other jackets that you'd be um, working with. They're probably the most versatile. They're lightweight, so you can use them as outermost layers or you can use them as even mid layers and still put on. So what I'm gonna do in this video is go over three different outfits. One is gonna be streetwear, one is gonna be casual, and one is gonna be more on the dapper side. As I put on these outfits, I'm gonna, you know, talk you through my mindset, let you know why I picked this and what I was thinking uh, as I was putting it together. And yeah, this will start to, like I said, get, get us all in that mindset of maybe I should start, you know, pulling out those bins or going into storage or whatever and start just getting us, you know, prepared for fall. Let's go ahead, hop into the three outfits. I'm gonna talk you through them and yeah, let's get this ball rolling. All right, and so we've got outfit number one. I decided to start with the most street outfit and then I'm gonna go from street to casual to finishing off with the most dapper look. Uh, I've got on the most street appropriate denim jacket this one is from the company called smugglers moon it's a white mostly all white denim jacket it's got some hints of red accents popping up on the collar and on the chest pockets and it's got some graphic designs on the inside this one is clearly the most street because it's super distressed so it's got rips up near the uh shoulder blade down near the hip, down near the waist. Uh, it's pretty much got distressing all over, as you can see. Most of the time I'm gonna build an outfit from the shoes up. And so these Lunar Force Air Force ones that came out years ago, uh, I wanted to go ahead and put an outfit around them. I already noticed that it had these burgundy, khaki, and like olive green tones going on. So from there I said, okay, White pretty much goes with anything. It already has khaki in the shoe. So let's go ahead and put on some khaki skinny jeans and then we're gonna work with this white distressed denim jacket. All right, so where could I go from there? I wanted to go ahead and tie into that burgundy or maroon color. So I went ahead and threw on this maroon sweatshirt um, that I got from Echo maybe 12 years ago. Uh, it still fits perfectly fine. I already had on the black tank top that you saw me wearing earlier in the intro. So I went ahead and kept that on and had it peek out a little bit underneath the sweater. So that way it adds more interest and it adds more layers. I think the white adds a perfect contrast, but it also ties into the white in the sweatshirt. And yeah, let me know what you guys think about this first outfit. And uh, yeah, let's go ahead and get into outfit number two. 
Okay, and here we have the second look. This is the casual look out of the whole bunch. Uh, after this, we're gonna go ahead and do the dapper one. I wanted to go ahead and just show you guys a real good example of tying colors together. So clearly here we're working with maroons, blues, khaki, right? And uh, white, I guess. As you can already tell with the jacket, we've toned it down. There's no more distressing. This jacket is uh, as straightforward and plain as you can get. Hell, it's even khaki for crying out loud. There's nothing going on besides the color. It's just khaki, no patterns, no distressing, no designs, no anything like that, right? So super straightforward. But now since I have this very straightforward and plain khaki jacket, now I can start to get more interesting and get a little more busy with the pieces in my outfit, right? So what I have on is this short sleeve button up shirt that I got from American Eagle like a week ago. And what I wanted to do was play off all of the colors that's in it, right? So with the khakis, put on this khaki jacket. With the blues, I have on these dark wash denim jeans. With the maroon, I have on these maroon hiking boots uh, from my Oliver Sweeney video. This outfit, it just shows you how you can tie so many different colors in together, but make it work in a very tasteful way. I feel that there's this misconception about casual wear. I feel like every most of the time when I see somebody doing something casual, it's pretty simple or plain or safe even. And I wanna just, for one with this outfit, let you all know that just because you're wearing a casual attire, doesn't mean you have to play it safe. Casual doesn't have to be boring. Casual doesn't mean boring. In my eyes, casual is just that, you know, midpoint between dapper and street. Casual can still be complex. Casual can still be interesting. So just because something says casual attire, you know, still go out and have fun with it. Do what you want to do with it. Make the most of it. Don't just put on a polo shirt and some slacks and maybe some sneakers and say, all right, I'm dressing casual. Like, no, have fun with it. Do what you want to do with it. Make it as complex as you want it to be, you know, and just go all out with it if you want to. But yeah, before I ramble on too much, just know casual doesn't have to be boring. Casual doesn't have to be simple. I consider this a casual look. So let's go ahead and get into the third and final outfit, which is the dapper one. All right, and here is the third and final look. This is the dapper look out of the three. Um, this, honestly, might be my favorite one. I wanna get more and more into the dapper look, and so I've been investing more in those kind of pieces. When you dress dapper, you honestly and truly do feel smarter. You do feel more refined. You do feel, I don't know, like just kind of like the man in a sense. It's silly when you think about it, but it just goes to show you just how much clothing really can change your entire mood, change your entire mindset, you know? If you put on a suit, you feel like this confident businessman. You could easily swap out the uh, casual sneakers and go ahead and throw on some loafers. You can go ahead and throw on some double monks. You can go ahead and throw on just some lace-ups, some standard uh, cap toe lace-ups if you want. You can throw on those Mark Nolans from a uh, last video. In my opinion, the blue medium wash to dark wash Denim jackets are probably the best bet for if you're trying to dress up the denim jacket. I think it works very well for these kind of looks. And yeah, man, it just it just works. Like the denim jacket, it's so versatile. You know, I'm only really scratching the surface on what can be done with a denim jacket. Like I said, when times get really cold, because it's so lightweight, you can go ahead and use it as a mid layer if you're gonna put on like a pea coat or a top coat or anything like that. It's very affordable. Uh, the price range can range from like, I think this was like $25, $30 from Primark. This one was about $70, I think. I, I got it from The Gap. This was about 70, I've had it for maybe three years now. This one from Smuggler's Moon. I got it on sale because uh, I think they're just, I, I wasn't sure if the company's going out of out of business or not but the retail price for this was like 135 dollars i got it for like 40. 
Um, so yeah, like denim jackets, they come in so many different price ranges. They come in so many different styles, so many different colors. That's gonna be it for this video. I'm gonna do three more outfits, three or four more outfits with these same jackets that's gonna go on my website. Just be on the lookout for that. Please, if you enjoyed these videos, subscribe to the channel, hit that like button, comment down below. Let me know what kind of stuff you wanna see. I say it all the time and I really do mean it. It, it just honestly helps the channel out so much, you know? And if you really like these videos, you can go ahead and share it with friends and family, you know, somebody who's trying to up their style game and need that nudge in the right direction, you know? Send them my video so that way they can get some um, inspiration. There we go. Until we put the pieces together again. Until we put the pieces together again, peeps. Until we put the pieces together again, peeps. Later.